Hi everyone and welcome to this week's EBC video. We're in Burnsville, Minnesota at Burnhaven Library. We're going to be using the library in just a moment to be thinking about a part of our Bible readings this week. And this week we're in Ephesians 3. It's verses 14 to 21. And the reason we're in Ephesians instead of the ordinary gospel is because at St. John's we're going to be working through a sermon series on growing in generosity. And so while St. John's is looking at these verses, we're going to look at these verses too. And so this week, as we're in Ephesians, chapter 3 is just an amazing piece of this letter because there's a title for the section that we're looking at that says it's a prayer for the readers. And I just want to pause on that idea for just a moment, right? We picture, when we're picturing all of the letters at the end of the, of the New Testament, right, whether they're being written by Paul or some of Paul's followers, we're picturing that these letters are meant for the recipients of these letters, for, for instance, the folks in Ephesus that are being written to. But really, this particular part is really written as an idea that it's a prayer, for, even for us, all of these years later, that we might have the things that the writers are thinking about here. And so as the writers are writing, they start by saying that they're praying for us to have strength. But the strength is so that Jesus will live in our hearts and will be rooted in Jesus' love because Jesus is in our hearts. It's an amazing piece of the prayer because we think about strength and then we think about what that strength is going to bring, which is love. And then the prayer goes on and it says, he prays for power. But the power that he's praying for is that we could know something that surpasses all knowledge, which is Jesus' love. And that's why I was thinking about the library this week, because I watched a picture for just a moment, what the idea of knowing something that surpasses knowledge would mean. If you were able to go into the library and read every book in the library, you wouldn't have as much knowledge as it would take to understand God's love. If you were to read all of the knowledge that was in the library, and then you were to look at all the computers in the library and look at everything on the internet, you still wouldn't have enough, enough knowledge to understand the totality of God's love. It's an amazing idea. And yet, the prayer very simply asks that we would know the thing that surpasses knowledge. And then it says one more thing. When, when, uh, when we get to the end of this prayer, the writer asks that we would be empowered through the power of God to do things to, to accomplish things through God that are bigger than what we can even ask for or imagine. I want to pause on that for just a moment. It's sort of that similar idea that if you can't know how big God's love is, and you can't even ask for or imagine the things that God can accomplish through you, the prayer still says the glory to God for doing those things through you. And of all the things that are asked for in this prayer, I think that's the most amazing. That we have an opportunity to do more with God and for God than we could even picture would be our jobs, our task in the world. And so as we're going to be thinking for the next several weeks about growing in generosity, I just want to pause today and think about the fact that God is putting us in positions to be generous to others in ways that we have no idea about before they're happening. So this week, as you're going about your life, look for those moments that you had no idea to ask for and that you couldn't imagine where God is going to accomplish something for you. Everyone, have a great week.